seem to be overwhelmed with crises, everything from climate change to water to pandemics to demographic shifts and so forth. And what's really troubling about this is you can see these coming a mile away. We often even have solutions. And yet for some reason, we as people and nations are unable to act in time. Everyone looks around and they see things like climate change and yet we're not acting on it. They worry about terrorism or they worry about other kinds of issues. I don't think there's any doubt that these are huge emerging crises. You know, and the real question is why aren't we acting on them? Part of the problem is just people. We are remarkably short-sighted and we're really good at blaming other people. And when it comes to risk, humans are pathetic. We either panic or ignore. Part of the problem is business because the truth is a lot of the problems are actually profitable. And when business knows that they might be called upon to sacrifice disproportionately, they can be very effective in saying, but the science really isn't very clear, or we're going to lose jobs, or there are much better solutions. We're on your side, but just not that side. But here's good news. We have, on occasion, actually acted in time and solved problems. We used to talk about the hole in the ozone layer, and yet we don't anymore. Why is that? Partly, it was the picture of the whole neos on layer. We did something to make a future problem visible, literally visible today. And part of it was that a company called DuPont developed an alternative to the CFC refrigerants. And so they suddenly had an incentive to work with governments and to work with the NGOs to find solutions. That's really unexpected. And that changed the discussion by its nature. How do you create the kind of leaders that in fact can bring together different sectors? I think this integrated educational concept seems particularly vital. Those same ideas can be taught to uh, young students who are looking to be public leaders in the future. So how do I, as a, or all of us, train and get a future leaders who can act in time? Part of it is finding them and getting them. The good news, terrific young people around the world want to do something larger than themselves. Bad news, it's very costly. A, costly to train. B, they don't earn very much. So we've got to find a way to make it worth their while. Of course, then they need a set of skills. They need to know about markets and incentives and risk. Politics, really understand how to make politics work. And also the actual work of public management and the like. But you know, the really biggest part of the challenge is training them to actually solve problems. And so we also have to create integrated learning experiences partly within the teaching realm, and it seems to me also partly by getting people out so that they're dealing with real problems that don't present themselves as just a politics problem or just a, a management problem or just a, a analysis problem. Working with different groups, trying to see how you bring together these ideas and make a difference. For example, our joint degree students between the business school and the Kennedy School take a January break, and this year they went to Denmark to explore alternative energy, to really understand the economics and the politics uh, at a place where it's really done, and then they came back and briefed U.S. leaders. So the frontiers of education give us an opportunity to get to the frontiers of hard acting in time problems. If we can train both existing leaders and people who are aspiring public leaders to take on the really hard future challenges, to, with the tools and the techniques to do so, we can meet and avoid the future crises that we can see coming that we're not acting on today.